Oh my goodness, guys. It's Dita. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time. Um, it seems like it's been a perfect storm of issues that have kept me from filming. One of which is my job. The second of which is technology, of course. Is that any surprise? I actually had three videos recorded in January and put none of them up because every time I pushed play on my camera, the lighting would go away, it would just get a lot dimmer. And I couldn't figure out what was going on with the lighting. I bought a ring light that I returned because that didn't help and I didn't like the way it looked. I tried suspending things. It was ridiculous. And the thing is that I'd been able to record great video with not very much light, with just, you know, a little more than my bedroom light. So I thought something was wrong with my camera and I thought it had been, I was researching Oh gosh, I can already tell this is going to be chatty because I miss talking to you guys. Um, I was researching cameras to get and then finally settled on one, but in a last stitch effort to see if my camera could be salvaged, I took it to a repair shop. So I'd been futzing with the aperture, or what I thought was the aperture, to try to let in more light, but it wasn't working, and, and I think the ISO, anyway, I'd watched some YouTube videos and tried to adjust things and nothing was working. and. I took it to the camera repair shop and there's a knob at the top of my camera that also controls the aperture and I must have at some point inadvertently closed it or opened it, closed it. Anyway, twisted the knob in such a way that no light was being let in. So this guy <laughs> looks at my camera for not even a minute and it's like, oh, and he just readjusts it and all of a sudden my camera's back to new. Anyway, so there was that. And this camera issue was figured out probably two weeks ago, but I just haven't had time to film. And now, later on tonight, my sister is coming into town, so there's always something. So I just said, you know what, forget it. I'm just, I've got to get back to recording. It's already the second week of March. I'm done. So here I am, back to do a really quick favorites video. I'm so behind on videos. I have so many ideas of videos that I want to do, and I have tags that I'm behind on. I can't do as much with my family here, but once they're gone, I'm gonna get to filming because I really enjoy it. So, I am back <laughs> now that my camera's working and I am going to do a really quick favorites video today. This should be rather quick, or I guess it would be quick if I wasn't blabbing so much. Any hoodle. I, can you tell I'm really excited to be back? <laughs> anyway, if you would like to see what my favorites for February were, then stick around. The first category is the handbag and handbag accessories category, and the item I'm about to show you is going to be in a haul video that will show up after this video, um, because I still haven't completed my vacation haul, and it is this, I almost said bag charm, bag strap. This is from Henry Bendel. I love all of the different colors of this bag strap. So we have this perforated yellow and this really pretty pebbled teal. Then this black, this black with a bunch of silver, are these silver? Yeah, silver D-rings. And this actually reminds me of a bag strap that Alexander Wang had that I really wanted but just could never justify spending that much on a bag strap even when it went on sale. Then it's got a red pebbled leather and then pink perforated leather. And the metal is this really pretty light gold hardware. And there is the HB for Henry Bendel etched into this little stud here. And it's got that on, oops, it's got that on both sides. This thing is such a great bag strap. So I have really fallen in love with how versatile a bag strap like this can make a bag. This is the reason why I purchased, or not this particular bag strap, but bag straps are the reason why I decided to buy what has turned out to be one of my absolute favorite bags because it is not a crossbody bag, but this makes it a crossbody bag. So they are some of my favorite accessories in my wardrobe. But this one I just think is beautiful. I think it's really edgy. I love all the colors. It's really fun and bright and really comfortable on the shoulder. It's awesome. So yes, 
this backstop from Henry Bendel, January, no, February favorite. <laughs> And then the bag that I was referencing just now ended up being my favorite for February. I think I wore it for almost the entire month. It comes in this dust bag and it is, people probably already know what it is, this gorgeousness right here. This is absolutely one of my, ugh, I love this bag. This is the Saint Laurent Burgundy Collège bag with I don't know if they call this metal ruthenium, but it's the silver, it's the aged silver hardware. I love this. And it comes with a shoulder strap that I have in here. Here it is. Um, again, with this beautiful aged silver hardware. I love this thing. I'm not going to do a full review of this, but if anybody would like one, I mean, there are reviews of this all over the interwebs, so it's probably not necessary, but I absolutely love this bag it is so useful you know it has plenty of space on the inside it's stuffed right now it's got this pocket in the back this is where i keep my phone so i can just reach for it really quickly the shoulder strap is really comfortable i like where the bag hits when it's on the shoulder if you wanted to carry it top handle you could and then it looks really good with a guitar a guitar with a guitar strap and i wore that strap with this bag all of february absolutely love this bag unequivocally one of the best bags in my entire wardrobe i love this thing okay so i did not have any shoes in this category so we will move on to clothing and i just have one piece in the clothing category is a piece that i purchased from zara while i was on vacation over the holidays and i have worn this thing so much and it is this lovely right here this is from Zara. I actually hauled this as well. It's a cropped kimono and it has all of this awesome print with the floral um, and then the different floral on velvet and the same print on the sleeves, this band of triangles on the sleeves, and then my favorite part, this leopard print faux fur. I absolutely love this. You know, it was love at first sight when I saw it and I wasn't sure that I would get the wear out of it, but I have worn it so much. I absolutely love this thing. I'll insert a picture of me wearing it. This piece was awesome. I think most people would interpret this as more of a winter florals print, but I don't care. I can see myself wearing this in the spring over a dress if I just need a little bit of coverage for a cooler day, but I didn't need a coat. I think this thing will continue to come in very handy. So yes, this, I mean, absolute clear winner for February. Both of my items in the jewelry category come from one of my favorite jewelers, which is Grayling, and I am wearing both of them right now. So one of them, Grayling just started doing, well, she's done rings, but I haven't really had any of her rings before, but she's just put out a lot of really cute, dainty rings with all different kinds of stones and different kinds of metals and I got two of them. One of them I have worn, no joke, every single day to work and outside of work since I have purchased it. I have not skipped a day and it is this ring right here. Pardon my nails. See how grown out they are? I have a nail appointment this weekend. But anyway, it's this ring right here. Um, it is a rose gold band with this tiny little pearl detail. And I'm surprised by how much I love this. You know, is this rose gold or gold? I think it is rose gold, yeah. But I'm surprised by how much I love it because it's so dainty and usually I'm much more of a chunky jewelry person, but I just absolutely love this ring. So that's one. And the other thing is also very surprising. I'm wearing those too and it's these earrings, again, there are these really dainty hoops, gold hoop earrings. They come in a bigger size, but I picked the smaller ones and I really, really love them. They're so comfortable to wear, very lightweight and just really beautiful and can be worn with anything, absolutely anything. So yeah, absolutely love both of these items. And I will link, if they're online, I will link them down below. All right, for makeup, I did have a couple of occasions to wear 
makeup and to, you know put on a full face of makeup and I found that I was really loving the highlighter and the contour really loving it so the first thing in this category actually both things are from Fenty Beauty and the first is this kilowatt highlight and mine this one that's my favorite is the ginger binge and the Moscow mule so the Ginger Binge is the one that I used for blush. And then this one with more sheen is the one that I used for highlight. And actually, I used the Moscow Mule for eyeshadow sometimes too, and I really liked it. I think that they are so pretty. I love the sheen that the highlighter gives you. I just think this is a really fun palette. And then the second thing came in this Matchstick Trio that had a concealer, a contour, and a highlight. And you could buy them, you could buy each of these individually, or you could buy them um, as a package deal for your skin tone. And I got the deep, I actually have two of these, I can't remember what the other one I have is, but this one is the deep. And what I really loved was this espresso contour. It's really dark there. That's the espresso contour. I really loved this. I felt that it sculpted my cheekbones really well, and I really liked that. I should have put some on for this video so that you could see, but I really, really love this. I was really enjoying contouring my face with this contour stick from Fenty. This was the month of lazy skincare. I did not do much of my regimen at all. So I found this next item to be very handy because at the very least I could take the day's dinge off my face before I crawled into bed. And I think I've shown these before. They're these philosophy wipes and I actually just realized that I need to order more. This is my last pack. Is that right? I have to look. Anyway, there are these philosophy, wi philosophy wipes and I absolutely love these. When I use them, I feel that my face is really clean, and I actually also feel that it's moisturized. So actually, when I use these, I usually don't put on a night lotion um, because I don't feel like I need it, although I should probably still put on eye cream. But like I said, this was the month of lazy skincare. But these were these came in so handy, so I'm going to make sure that I have these on hand. Even if I don't mention them, these are guaranteed to continue to be a favorite in my facial routine. So we're almost done. So in the food and drink category, and I hope I have a picture of this. If I don't have one, I'll show my friend's picture. We went over to a friend's house. She hosted a birthday party and she made eggplant parmesan. She's gluten-free and her eggplant parmesan is the best eggplant parmesan I've ever had in a restaurant made by me doesn't matter hers is the best it's just so she is able to achieve this crispiness of the breading um, and then this the perfect acidity and tang of the sauce and a perfect cheese to sauce ratio oh my gosh it is so, my mouth is watering so i had it for dinner that night and then for dinner the next i had leftovers for dinner the next night anyway that was definitely my food favorite for this month in the miscellaneous category i decided that i wanted to try a weave so i was talking to the lady who twists my dreadlocks and and somehow we got to talking about weaves and i realized that i could have one put on top of my dreadlocks so so she could braid it and protect it in such a way that she could sew in the weave without damaging my hair. And I have never done that before, so I really wanted to do it. So we did, and I posted a picture of it on Instagram, and the plan was to, that was another reason that I didn't film, because the plan was to have it in for six weeks, four to six weeks, and film with it so that you guys could see. But about a day and a half, it wasn't even two full days of having it in, I broke out into hives. Like the first day, it was, it was uncomfortable and it was itchy, but I thought, well, maybe I'm just trying to get used to it. But by the second day, it was this itching and burning, and then I could feel the welts and scarring. And um, so I cut the whole thing out myself in desperation. She was actually going to see me the next 
day really early in the morning before I went to work because I was freaking out thinking something is wrong um, but then at like 2 30 in the morning I couldn't and I just cut the whole thing out myself so I was so bummed that I couldn't keep it because it was so soft and it was just so fun I've never had hair like that before or my hair like that before so that was it was a lot of money wasted but it was fun for a day and a half to look different I'll post a picture of it and yeah so that was my favorite in the miscellaneous category my weave <laughs> so I have two favorites in the memories category one was a day trip to or actually a day trip plus an overnight stay to wine country with some girlfriends we drove to different wineries and did tastings and then ended up at um i can't remember the name of it but i'll include it down below but anyway it was they have an annual crab boil so we had this amazing crab dinner it's catered by high, the high school students in that small town um, and they were really good and it was it was adorable and with a salad and then this delicious beautiful crab and warm butter um, and then we all were sent home with two bottles of rosé um, but anyway the whole weekend it was talking and laughing and drinking wine and then we actually stayed the night there at a hotel it was like a little mini vacation and then the second memory was oh yes i had it was another dinner with a different group of ladies um these are ladies that i did my postgrad work with and we hadn't seen each other in actually i think that many of us hadn't seen each other since my wedding so almost two years so we all got together and had a really fun dinner we kept we were playing musical chairs so that we could each have we could all have a chance to talk to everybody else it was really really fun and heartwarming so that was a really great memory for february okay so that is it for my favorites i think that is going to be a very quick video cross fingers who knows how much i was blabbing in the beginning i uh, my goal is to edit this and have it up tonight before I have to go pick up my family from the airport. They're coming in really late, uh, close to midnight. So I am going to try to do that because I just can't bear to have another day go by without having a video up. It's actually driving me crazy. <laughs> so anyway, I don't think that was the best video, but it is my form of reintroduction. I'm really happy to be back. There is a lot coming. It'll be slow again this week, but then after that, um, I am just going to start pounding out these videos that I have in queue. I would also like to, I noticed that I have quite a few more subscribers. My following is still quite small, but I noticed it's inching upward, which is really spectacular. It's really, really awesome. And I've also noticed that a lot of people, a lot of people, but, um, Quite a few people have done the crushing on myself tag and I have really enjoyed watching women and men talk about the things that they find beautiful about themselves outwardly. My temperature light is coming on, so I'm gonna wrap this up. I hope everybody has a fantastic evening and we will see you in the next one. Peace, Yens.